Skin and beauty hacks are all over TikTok, but would you believe tanning nasal sprays are trending? What is that? And how safe is it? So Dr. Batra, hashtag nasal tanning spray has 3.4 million views and counting. Sounds crazy to me. So help us shed light on this alternative tanning method. These are sprays and there's more than one being advertised where you actually put them up your nose. They're absorbed by the mucous membrane and they're meant to jumpstart your body's own production of melanin. So these are really trending and they have a variety of different ingredients that are meant to jumpstart your body's own pigment production. So tell us, Dr. Bajra, was spraying chemicals up your nose for a tan a good idea? I don't think I'm ready for that. You already know what I'm going to say about this. <laughs> this is a terrible we do. idea. So if you're thinking about putting chemicals up your nose to jumpstart the cells in your body that produce pigment, please just don't. The concern <laughs> is that those pigment producing cells can go into overdrive. We know that melanoma is one of the most lethal forms of skin cancer. You don't want to put something that your body isn't regulating in to jumpstart those cells. Remember, these products are not regulated by the FDA. We don't know anything about their safety. And you're lucky if you even get an accurate information or label about what's in them when you put them in. Yeah, you know, I, Dr. Bacha, I've lived a very melanin privileged life. I was born <laughs> melanin rich, so this is not my area of expertise. But yes, you were. You. <laughs> right? What else? People Dr. are trying B? to emulate that. That's the concern. <laughs> Dr. B, what else did you find out that concerned you about this product in particular? Like I mentioned, if you haven't had something regulated or investigated, it's not FDA approved. Remember, it's really potentially very toxic to you and it will be absorbed through those mucous membranes. That's an excellent way to get something into your system, which you don't know the downstream effects. It could disrupt your hormones. It could have toxicity to your kidney. It could have toxicity to your liver. And moreover, when you look at these products, one of the things they're recommending is that you take the spray and then you go sit in a tanning bed or you tan. And we know that that's already a carcinogenic combination. So tanning beds themselves, we know are direct stimulators of skin cancer. Now you're giving your body the gasoline it needs to light that fire and to develop an actual skin cancer. There are just many layers of concern. I would, I would really run in the other direction before I'd consider. Thank you. Thank you for being yeah. the voice of reason. And guess what? It's not inexpensive either. No, no. 70 to $200 a bottle. So this no. stuff isn't cheap. Yeah. No, nothing about this sounds like a good idea to me. Dr. Batra, tell us, is there an actual safer way to still achieve that overall glow that we're looking for? One option is just wash off bronzers. As a cosmetic, they've come a long way. They don't transfer to clothes. Many of them have a nice iridescent sheer, so they're even going to blur imperfections in your skin. And they come in a variety of shades. So you can match them to your face. You can match them to your body. I think right now that's where I'm steering a lot of my patients because the products themselves are so much higher quality than they used to be. But then again, they're good old self-tanners. Those have been around for a long time. They have a chemical called dihydroxyacetone in them, which we know is at least somewhat safer, although I never recommend that you go in and inhale it. So don't go get it sprayed on yourself. Apply it like a cream. And that at least is also going to stain your skin. It lasts a week or two. Also a good old standby. Both of them are much safer than these nasal sprays and certainly than tanning beds or going out and frying yourself. All right. As always, thank you so much for your expertise, Dr. Batra. Thanks, thank Dr. you so Batra. much for having me. Great to see you both. Well, I'm sure we'll see you soon.